Hello everybody and welcome to the bonus rounds for the Modern Horizons 2 pre-pre-release. We liked our decks a lot and wanted to play a little bit more with them, and so here we are to do that exclusively for you here on the YouTube. Uh, joining me for this bonus round, we have Benjamin Wheeler. Hi, it's great to be here. And Cameron. Huh? And they've, uh, they've rolled dice. Cameron's on the play, I believe. Mm -hmm. I am. Mm -hmm. All right, and we've got keepable sevens, and uh, let's play some magic. All right. Good luck, Ben. Have fun. Good luck. Have fun. Uh, Fore. Mm -hmm. And then Ravenous Squirrel. 1-1. One, one. Whenever you sacrifice an artifact or a creature, put a plus one, plus one counter on Ravenous Squirrel. And then Spare for early. one black green, sacrifice an artifact or creature, you gain one life and draw a card. Okay, okay. Draw... That squirrel gets out of hand. Yep. Uh, um, well, I'm going to play a basic island. I'm going to tap. Uh -huh. I'm going to cast uh, Hard Evidence and make a crab detective. Uh, I've I often crab. wondered, what do you think? Is this like a, a Clouseau-esque crab detective? Or a Poirot-esque crab detective? Um... I think I said Clouseau, okay. but okay. maybe this is rework. This is the uh, Orient Express, uh, like from 2014. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, island. Mm -hmm. Attack. Uh, I'll block. Very well. Go. Okay. 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 Yep. Strong start. Hmm. I will play a Goldmire Bridge. A blue. Nope. That's not even the colors on it. Black, white, artifact, tap land. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, forest. And then I will play... Um... Let's go with a Tireless Provisioner. Landfall. Uh, whenever the battlefield, uh, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, create a food token or a treasure token. And it is a 3-2 Elf Scout. I will say yes. go. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna untap. I'm gonna draw. Um, I'm going to play a basic forest and I'm going to cast a bone shredder. Okay. I'm going to blow up your tireless provisioner, please. And thank you. Okay. And, uh, I don't think this crab's attacking, so I'm going to pass. It is not a crab that knows only fight. No. Tangle Pool Bridge. Crab. And then I will also cast this Mere Scrapling. Oh. Um. Yeah. I will say go. Hmm. Untap. Let's see. Do I want to play Play Echo? Do I want to pay Echo? Scrapling. I'm actually gonna world first. I'm going to pay Echo on my Bone Shredder. I've never what? seen this happen I, before. I I've been playing with this card for like 20 years, and I have probably done that like 10 times max. That's uh, it feels very weird. It feels kind of gross actually. Uh, I'm gonna play Basic Planes. Don't even have a dual land to follow it up. Um, I'm going to attack you for one in the air. I will take one in the air. Um, and then I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. I will cast my own Bone Shredder. N and blow away your crab. 
Oh, my crab. Okay. Poor, poor Detective Claw. That's so messed up. Then dude. I'm going to sacrifice the mere scrapling to the ravenous oh squirrel. Okay. Or sacrifice... No, sorry, excuse me. I will sacrifice the mere scrapling to its own ability to put a plus mm. one, plus one counter on the ravenous squirrel. Mm. The ravenous okay. squirrel gets a plus one, plus one counter yes. from its own ability, and then I will attack. Uh, yeah, I will take three. I go to 17. I will say go. That crab had a family, Cameron. Not anymore. I mean... Of course, that. Jeez. Cr- <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Well, not for um, long. Not with that attitude. Um. Well. I mean, presumably the family's still alive. I'm going to not do that, Ben. Uh. Wow. I wait. Hold on. I can't do any of it. Um, this is probably fine. I'm going to pay a blue and a white. Uh, I'm going to basic land cycling this mental journey. Okay. Go on this journey with me. Where I find a second basic forest. I'm going to then play this second basic forest. (gasps) Are you getting Yavamaya Elder? Let's oh, I'm going to play. Oh, you better believe it. Uh, all of my favorite cards from Urza's block have come out to play. Uh, I'm going to cast this old man and pass the turn. Fascinating. Okay. Untap. Old man uh, has entered the battlefield. Do I pay for Bone Shredder? Uh, no, in fact, I do not... Um, I activate mm-hmm. Ravenous Squirrel's ability. Okay. To sacrifice Bone Shredder. Yes. I gain uh, one life and draw a card. And wow. Squirrel gets a token. Wow. Or a counter. Yep. We love to see you it. Gain one life or pay one life? Gain one life. Nice. Oh, uh, it's a card from Modern Horizons 2. There is no downside. I will attack <laughs> with this 4 4 Squirrel. Um, I'm going to block with my old man. Okay. This old man is going to die to the squirrels. Um, sounds like a really nasty Pixar short. Uh, I'm going to, I have a triggered ability. Uh, okay. I get to find two basic lands, put them into my hand. Uh, I'm going to find a basic island and a basic swamp. See that you do. No, I didn't. Would you like to? Holy moly. Yeah, I would love to. Okay, we're good. Okay. Drawing so many cards, he doesn't know what to do with them. You wouldn't even know what to do with all those cards. Give them to me instead. Uh, draw. You would sacrifice me yet? Key do key. That's pretty spicy. Um, no spicy will play. Well, I'm going to attack you with my bone shredder. Uh, this occurs. Please take one. Um, I have been one. I am going to. It's a four four. That squirrel can kill all of my trees. Um, I'm going to play a basic swamp. And then I'm going to cast... Maybe a friend? Yeah, I'm going to cast a a copy of Ethereum Spinner. Um, Okay. Three mana, two, one, artifact creature. It's a human wizard. Uh, whenever I cast a spell with mana value four or greater, I make a one, one color slopter with flying. Oh. Uh, and okay. I'm going to pass. I untap, draw a card. I put the swamp into play. Mm-hmm. I would like to cast this nested shambler. 
Then yes. I would like to cast Bone Shards, sacrificing the Nested Chambler and destroying the uh, Ethereum Spinner. Down I go. We'll get I get a squirrel, and my other squirrel gets a counter. The squirrel's getting out of hand. I will attack with my squirrel. Uh, yeah, I take five. I will say go. Well, that's not how I thought that turn would go. Um, I'm going to crack this clue at end of turn. Okay. Draw a card. Uh, untap. Draw. You two there, Bone Shredder. You two. Um, I'm going to attack you with my Bone Shredder. I will allow it. No blocks. Please take one. I've been one. Uh, second main. I'm going to tap five and play a Loathsome Curator. Uh, five mana, it? five, four. It has exploit and menace. When it exploits a creature, I destroy target creature I don't control with mana value three or less. Um, I would like to turn this bone shredder into killing your ravenous squirrel. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to play a rust fail bridge. It's a red, white artifact dual land into play tapped and I will pass the turn. Sounds good. That bone shredder got stuff coming and going. Oh yeah. Um, I will play this nested shambler, and I will yes. say go. Mm -hmm. Draw. Um, I will attack you for five. No blocks. Uh, take five. I'm going to play uh, this basic island we all knew about. And I'm going to play an Orchard Strider, okay. um, keeping some amount of mana untapped. Let's keep a blue in this black-white dual land. So I'm going to tap six. Uh, it's a 6-4 Tree Folk. When it enters the battlefield, I create two food tokens. Uh, and it also has basic land cycling, but I'm in it for the food. And for the, okay. I guess, the giant tree. Uh, so I make two of these, so and then I will pass. Kind Sorry, of like the a Palaka worm. Cam got hit by the, the that creature for five? Yeah. Correct. Yes. Okay. Thanks. All right. I play this mere scrappling. Say okay. go. Um, I think I want to keep these around. Untap. Draw. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to combat and attack with the 6-4 and the 5-4 Menace. Okay. I will block the 6-4 with my Mirror Scrappling, leave the 5-4 Menace unblocked. Okay. Before damage, I will sacrifice Mirror Scrappling to put a counter on Nested Chambler. Okay. Um... Cam takes five down to eight. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play a basic swamp. Uh, and then I'm going to cast. How many cards in Grist in the Hunger Tide. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it uh, comes to play with three loyalty uptick uh, plus one. I make a one one black green insect token. Uh, and then I mill a card if I mill an insect. I put a loyalty counter on Grist and repeat this. Minus two, I can sack a creature. When I do, destroy target creature or Planeswalker. Uh, and the ultimate at minus five is each opponent loses life equal number of creature cards in my graveyard. Okay. Um, so I'm going to immediately uptick. Mill one. That's an Ether Sworn Sphinx. Uh, not exactly where I want it in the graveyard. But uh, I get to make a little insect and then uh, that'll be a pass. Okay. So we've determined that the Ether Sworn Sphinx is not, strictly speaking, an insect. Th that is correct, Graham. Yeah. Okay. I, I think we can go to game really two sure. here. Okay. Okie dokie. Oofa doofa. Now, not go to ahead. be that guy, 
but definitely to be that guy. The okay. insect token for the set, I, ha I don't have one, but I was looking through uh, all the, the brand new tokens for Modern Horizons 2, uh, mm -hmm. is, uh, I mean, it's, it's quite upsetting uh, to look at, which is great, um, but it's, it's much more in line of a centipede, which is not an insect. Really? Strictly speaking. What are they? I suppose they're nightmares, honestly. Some kind of invertebrate, but yeah, uh, no, I believe an insect point. has an upper limit on legs. Huh. Of, well, I know it's like they're... What are they? Hymenoptera? The true bugs? Are, oh, all right, well, now I'm going are to the internet. Own things? They are predatory. I'm, I'm going to fill time during pods. sideboarding by looking this up. Sideboarding? Well, maybe maybe you won't be sideboarding. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I'm going to sideboard. Oh, maybe. Yeah, actually. One little, just one little thing. Uh, well, they're arthropods. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Which insects mm -hmm. are also. I mean, are we not also arthropods? We have limbs. Uh, no, because an arthropod is an invertebrate that has an exoskeleton. Oh. Well, actually, I don't want to speak for you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know Thank what you. I don't know what you're about. <laughs> I Do you have jointed you limbs uh, and cuticle made of chitin? Maybe you're an arthropod. Are you? <laughs> you might be an arthropod if you've have a drab coloration combining shades of brown and red and certain might be a certain subterranean species that lacks said pigmentation however you might have a tropical scolopendromorph cousin with bright aposometric coloring haha <laughs> that's so true and then the audience just erupts in laughter it's and very I, very relatable yeah humor. i fart Cameron, into the microphone the play this game <laughs> I would like to be on the play, yes. Cool. Okay. You got yourself a seven there? I we there is a seven has occurred. Wheel, are you good? Sorry, I don't think my I think my brain stopped taking in oxygen uh when I was saying all of that. So uh let me just quickly draw uh yes, I'm good. Okay, cool. Let's play. Great. All right. I am going to Put a forest into play uh -huh. and cast a glimmer baron Ooh. one two uh i believe everyone corrected my pronunciation on this and uh it is an oof uh yeah uh the sacrifice a token glimmer baron gains plus two plus two until end of turn okay i don't know if it's oof or oofa or oofe or whatever but i uh, i I used the take for that video where you said oof, because otherwise my joke of, ah, uh, small oof didn't make sense. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I believe it's oof. Uh, go ahead. I, I mean, a, a I feel land. like I'm in a Greek restaurant trying, restaurant trying to order spanakopita or spanakopita or however it's pronounced in this weird proxy war that I've been drafted in between various Greek regional pronunciations of food. Um, nested shambler. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mere scrappling. Uh huh. Attack. Uh, yeah. Take one. Okay. I presume. No effects. Okay. Say go. Untap. Draw. When I go into a Greek restaurant, I scream oofa, and I break a bunch of plates, uh, and then get kicked out. Uh, mm. I'm going to play Basic Island and pass the turn. Okay. Um, attack with all three. Uh, I will take three. No effects. Say go. Okie doke. Also, uh, I have an update uh, from my uh, man on the floor, um, which is the Microsoft Sam that pronounced the word for me. Uh, there are two pronunciations. There's oof and auf. 
Oh. Auf. Auf. Oh. Meaning goblin or elf-like creature. Uh, I'm going to play a Yavi Maya, Cradle of Growth, which turns everything into forests, which then allows me to play Yavi Maya Elder. Uh, this is my combo. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Untap. I mean, from a flavor perspective, you're running away with this. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to allow you to get more land by casting this Bone Shredder. Oh, thank you. Targeting Yavimaya Elder. Beautiful. Uh, all right. Uh, the old man will uh, kick it. Uh, I'm going to find a basic swamp and a basic island. Okay. And shuffle oh. away the planeswalker that was on top of my deck. <sighs> Success. <laughs> yeah. I will declare attacks. Okay. I take three. Sounds good. I will pass the turn. Hunt it. Draw. Mm, I'm going to play a swamp. And then I'm going to play a ghost lit drifter. Okay. Uh, tapping like that. Uh, go ahead. I will not pay for the bone shredder. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Draw a card for the turn. Uh, I will, however, um, I will attack with both the mere scrappling and the nested shambler. Does that which lets you do that, and that's really bad, so don't let you do that. Uh, I'm going to block the mere scrappling. Okay, I will sacrifice the mere scrappling to put a mm -hmm. counter on nested shambler. Uh -huh. We do. Uh, so I take two. You do. Yep, down right 11. Second main phase tireless provisioner. 3-2, landfall. Yep. And I will pass the turn. Uh, untap. Draw. Um, who boy. I'm... Uh, I'll attack, uh, attack you with my ghost. No blocks. Uh, two in the air. Uh, I'm going to play a swamp... And I'm going to cast Loathsome Gorgon, Loathsome okay. Curator. <laughs> I'm going to sack this Ghostlet Drifter and kill your Tireless Provisioner. Well, I almost had mana. <laughs> uh, and then I will pass. I'm not so worried about the mana as I am just, you know, uh, some kind of Go. land or ramp spell away from dying to that Gilder, no, Glimmer Baron? Glimmer Baron? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Glimmer Baron. Draw. Yes, Gilder Baron was the original from mm. one of the Lorwyn and or Shadow Moors. Yeah. I think Eventide, maybe? Whichever one had Untap. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> whoosh. Um... Well, uh, you could do that, do that. That's pretty bad. Uh, I'm going to attack you for five. Okay, no blocks. Uh, take five. Um, I'm going to play a wave sifter. Mm -hmm. And uh, this koi mull drifter is going to investigate twice. All right. Uh, I get two clues, and then I will pass the turn. I appreciate the double entendre of the word koi. Mere scrappling. You're welcome. I will so attack welcome. with nested shambler. Or, mm, uh, no, that's fine. Okay. I'll say go. Untap. Draw. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm going to... Tap two. Uh, actually... Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm going to tap two. I'm going to cast Smell Fear. Uh, target creature I control fights up to one target creature I don't control and then proliferate, um, which is not populate. And I'm saying that so that I don't think that something good will come from this. Uh, mm -hmm. And I won't, you know, it, 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 we don't have to go. We don't have to revisit old mistakes. Uh, I'm going to get my curator to fight your Glimmer Baron. Uh, sure. Um, and then I will attack you with my curator. Okay. I will, um, sure. Let's double block. Yep. Then, uh, uh before damage, mm -hmm. sacrifice Scrappling to Nest Shambler. Yes. Uh, okay. it dies. Yep. I get Trade. three squirrels. Okay. Oh, not even. Unless that mm -hmm. thing only has three toughness. Uh, it has, oh, it has one damage, damage on it from the fight. Yeah. Right. Oh. Um, three squirrels just tumbled out of that zombie. That's weird. Where'd that come from? Uh, I'm going to pay two to sack a clue and draw a card. Okay. Um, I'm going to play a basic island for the turn and tap two and cast priest of fell rights sure and i will pass go Ben? Oh, sorry. Was that a pass? I <laughs> Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, untap. Draw. Um, I will play a basic forest. Uh, I will attack you with my fish. Sounds good. Uh, three in the air. I'll tap uh, one, two, three, four... Five, six, and cast an Orchard Strider. Okay. Uh, the big tree folk. I'll make two food tokens. Big tree. Um, and then I will pass the turn. An island. Mm. Uh -huh. Um, I would like to play Lonus, cryptozoologist. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. And I will that say go. Non token investigate, and you spend. Holy smokes! Okay. Um. I'm going to end of turn. Oh, is this greedy? Or is it not greedy? It's not greedy. I'll go down to tap. Uh, draw. Um, I choose to interpret that as you saying that untapping, just as a generality, is not greedy. Basically, yeah. Uh, I'm going to play Forest. Mm -hmm. hmm. Oh, shoot. Um, how do I do this? How do I do this? I'm going to... Go. 
go to combat uh, with my Orchard Strider and my Wave Sifter. I'll block the Strider with a Squirrel. Okay. I'm going to take three. Um, I probably should have done this a little differently. That's okay. Uh, so I have one, two, three, four artifacts in play. Um, I'm going to tap three and cast Thought Monitor. Uh, it's a seven mana two two with flying. When it draws, when it enters the battlefield, draw two cards, but it has affinity for artifacts. Uh, so it comes to play, I'll draw two. One. Two. Ooh. And that's to clarify because you have two food and a clue and an artifact. And a, and a land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, okay. I am going to. I didn't get to play this uh, during the PPR, so I'm going to do it now because I think it's a really neat cool card uh, mm -hmm. i'm gonna cast uh combine chrysalis <laughs> it's a, a green and a blue it's an artifact creature tokens i control have flying pay two blue and a green sack a token create a four four green beast token activate this only as a sorcery oh okay um, and then wow using the green that i have from me i kind of buried own. the lead there <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to uh Sack this uh, food token to the combined chrysalis, a... and I'm going to make a four-four beast. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't think. Uh, yeah, basically. Uh, I'm going to find that beast token, and I'll pass the turn. Okay. It's in here somewhere. Maybe it's the food. No. Is it the clue? Ah. I guess I'll cast this wave sifter. Yes. Uh, I investigate three times. Yes. Two from the sifter, one from Lonis. Correct. Nice. Uh, go. Uh, untap. Draw. I'm at 11. Um, I'm going to tap and sacrifice my Priest of Fell Rites and pay three life doing so to mm -hmm. get back a creature from my graveyard to play. Mm -hmm. I'll get back this Ghostlit Drifter. Um, and then I'll tap a white, a black, and five to unearth this Priest of Fell Rites. Mm -hmm. um, and... Hmm... I keep doing this. I I mean, it, who, I, uh, I shouldn't complain. Uh, I'm going to tap three and activate my Ghostlet Drifter to give my Orchard Strider flying. Uh, and then I will attack you with uh, everything that can attack. Okay, sure, I die. Okay. All right. I, in my head, I was like, this is uh, Eternalize. And then I corrected my, which makes it a token. Then I corrected myself. Right. And I was like, no, Ben, it's not eternalized. <laughs> it's embalm. And I'm like, oh, okay, good. Good job, me. Right. And I right, still right. thought it was a token, but oof. GG's. Thanks wow. for the games. <laughs> good heavens. Mm hmm. I like that we have gotten to see basically everyone's deck, uh, like, really pop off in some spectacular way either you know not not necessarily here right now but between here and the ppr <laughs> yeah 
nearly everyone. I mean, Cameron's that that start like if if Cameron, I assume you need that you had like Lawness in your hand for quite some time. Or, uh, well, just I just wound up drawing blue cards for yeah. quite a while. Like I was definitely in the mode of which I think I mean Graham and I mentioned it in the opening of our kits where. I was in the mode of, oh, that Glimmer Baron's going to kill me. Like, mm -hmm. I am, I'm one ne nested shambler feeding this giant little oof away from just dying immediately. Right. Yeah, Glimmer yeah. Baron is, I think, I mean, I, yeah, like exactly like you and I said, it's going to kill some people. I am yeah. looking forward to having an opportunity to draft Cameron's deck. In this yes. format, mm -hmm. I think a draft deck would be even stronger potentially. Yeah, and it's already very, very scary. Yeah. Um, hey, that's it for the bonus round. Uh, GG's Wheeler. Um, we're we we've got we don't know the order that these are going up necessarily, but there's two more of these uh, on the channel. Mm -hmm. So please do subscribe to LRR MTG, the channel wherein you are actually watching these, and we very much appreciate that. And uh, yeah. Thanks for joining us for some extra Modern Horizons 2 gameplay. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you next time we talk to you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. -bye.